initializing caution files. Please stand by. Wait, now I'm on 15. <laughs> I just pressed escape. <laughs> okay, I'm on 17. <laughs> Alright, just 17. Alright, 20. Three. Oh, wait. Okay, let me catch up. Okay, I'm on 20. I'm on 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. Yo, malprogram. Programmer, thank you for the follow, dude. Just like Kane said, it is good to have you back among the faithful. What do we have here tonight? We have... Frizz playing as a screen, more specifically Traveler 59. And who cares is playing USA. And in the top left, we have Nilus playing as oh, what is this? Talon? Yep. Yeah, Talon and Singel's playing with Ark. So we've got double GDI versus USA and Screen. I'm gonna give you a bit of context for this game. So I chose USA because I was uh, pretty disappointed on the previous game, which was not the one we casted, but another one, that I thought that the USA drop was very OP. So I intended to feature showcase and abuse them. Yeah, of so course I, you pick you OP you'll, shit. You'll see, you'll see how it's going. Okay. What is this map? I think I know this map. This is it? Uh, yeah, it's kind of newish. Is it? I think I've played it as well. I remember the gems being hidden behind the walls. Could have been from RA. I'm not sure. It is. It was in one of like the packs that came out kind of recently. Hmm. Is it lad the lad pack yeah yeah the lad the lad pack lad is um no one knows who he is but occasionally from time to time he just pops in like hey here's a new map and then he's got like 40 or 50 new maps yeah <laughs> and then i have to port them all i have to i mean you don't have to but you're you're pretty good oh there's the um guardian drone At least one of them. Yeah. Oh, someone died on Tiberium. I was like, who the hell's coughing? But it was in game. Or more choking, I would say, but you know. Oh, this might take a while because it's a pretty big map. There's the first move out from Frizz. Who cares when. Very fast to Raider, though. One ref into Raider, no. Yeah, I guess he's going straight for the drop. Yep. He might be. Most of the other guys just went for double refs. Well, not really double ref, but you know what I mean. Singel's actually going for double uh, weapons factory early on. Hmm. So he's insisting on staying on tier 1 for the first few minutes. Okay, well, get my toy. I mean, Guardian Drone. Yeah, I love Acolytes as well. They're one of my favorite units. They look like Commandos. And, um... I don't know, I, I just love their sound. If you have a ton of them, they just fucking Shrek everything. It's so fun to play with them. Mm. Especially, especially once you fully upgrade them. Yep, and especially back in the day when they were OP, there was just nothing stopping them. Alright, I was just about to say, I'm surprised no one broke the walls yet. But Singel's going to be the first one to break the walls and release the gym mine from its boundaries. The other team hasn't done that at all. There's the move out from who cares. Still on one ref, but the ref's pretty good in my opinion. In a pretty good place. Lots of guardian drones. Actually, you have two refs in the lane. 
Oh yeah, you do. Okay. Huh. Oh, that's a lot of guardian drones. Pretty fast, boys. If you look at the support power tab, you can see them building up. Oh, they're all ready. Wow. Let's see. Guardian GI, single use. Guardian GI, single use. Grizzly tank, single use. Guardian G. Oh my god. That those are buildable superpower. So I'm using my Rex and my War Factory only to produce them and with the with the aim to put a like a big fucking drop on the main. Oh my god. It's really going to be USA invading. I was surprised they didn't see this coming. Yeah, there's like no presence from who cares at all. There's no there's no units, there's just a rocket soldier and a medium tank. The thing, I don't know if they both knew, because I didn't know before the USA, that you can actually uh, stack them. I thought once one is built, you're forced to place it. But no, you can stack them infinitely and just drop them all at once. Yeah. There's six of them already! Oh my god. This is gonna be mass USA invasion. It's gonna be like, FBI, open up! Like, pretty much like that. Everyone's around like 20k army value and then there's who cares sitting at 800. Okay, it takes out a harvester, but you know. Oh, there's, there's so many ready, I can't see it on the support powers tab. <laughs> the result is going to be epic. We have to be patient, but it is going to be there. But still, like, Singel is not really putting him under a lot of pressure, so... Wait, what is that? Mo oh, mobile sensor array. Cool. Yeah. So it has like the limited range GPS, the old GPS, where you mm -hmm. see the icons and the, the, the fog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. And drops. Okay, that's uh, his army value immediately went up with 7 to 8k, and here comes more! Oh nice, Commando managed to get C4 on two of the Grizzly tanks there. But the damage has been done for sure. It's another Harvester going to go down, yup. It's the third harvester or fourth, maybe that's gonna be the fourth or fifth. I don't know. I just I already lost count. But the commandos there might be able to see for some more tanks. Barely. Usually tanks are pretty fast as well. Yeah, they do more damage than a uh, medium tank. Oh, Jinjo has enough though. Hmm. He didn't kill everything. In the meantime, all of the support powers have been used. Oh, that's Neil's only construction yard. And he doesn't have a supply depot. Oh dear, oh dear, it is surrounded by <laughs> the screen that goes down. No more buildings for Mr. Neilis. But he does have a Titan coming onto the field. Two, three, three actually. He's got a couple of Titans. Very strong units. They are pretty much like... You can compare them to a ma mammoth tank for GDI, in my opinion. They have, uh, they do have an, an infantry cannon, pretty much. They also can yeah. anti-air, and they're pretty strong against vehicles. But you do want to keep them alive because they're pretty expensive.
Please don't throw away those titans, man. Dang, just lost three titans just like that. Chris is keep it just keeps on pushing. He wants to take control of this universe. Oops, wow. Angel is advancing at the bottom. Yeah, the screen base is completely open. Not much that Frizz can do about it because he was busy up top. Wait, is that Commando going to... Damn! Just see fours and Annihilator tripod. Holy shit. Yeah, who cares? He doesn't have much. He can't do anything about it unless he has like more support power ready, but... Yeah, there's nope. still drops at the back. Killing the oh, they punches. are! Oh my god, he did have more drops. I probably just missed it. Yep. Oh my god. This is disgusting. Another grizzly tank drop. Actually, it was pretty balanced because for the sum invested, I didn't do that much damage. True. Man, this infantry is melting. Okay, it's still not over yet. Damn. Chris did lose a lot of his base though, Singel's army did do so much damage. I don't have tech, I don't have production, I barely have eco, so my drop up were fun, but I'm not really in a good position myself. No, that's true. You also lost the MCV. Oh no, you did not. Ah. Wow. It's over here. Real tough guy. Oh, I hear a C4. And now Neil is going for it. Oh my god, these titans are getting shricked. Okay, it's a little bit too late to go back now, Mr. Neil. Is that titan is a goner? Wait, what? I said. That Titan is a goner, are you serious? Barely stays alive. In the meantime, more Guardian GI and Grizzly tank drops trying to get to tech center. Gonna try to do some crushes with the Grizzly, but the Orcas are there. And there's an Orca Bomber with an EMP. God damn. Such chaos. Oh wow, that didn't kill the pillbox. <laughs> Damn. Time to rock and roll. Some pretty OP battle drones right there. Alright, combined forces from Nilus and Sinjal. Trying to kill off Frizz, because if they can kill Frizz, then it's pretty much over. But because of who cares, they have to have constantly something in their base, whether it's static defenses or an army or something like that. Nice EMP onto the uh, Annihilator tripod there, but unfortunately they couldn't kill it. Now everything is walled up here, there's plasma cannons, there's pillboxes. It's going to be impenetrable from that side.
Oh, that bomber might be really good, but it might die to the uh, decimators or disintegrators. Excuse me. Yep. Oh my god, that was not great. Not looking good for team two. All of a sudden, because like a few minutes ago it was the other way around. Yeah, there's so little left at the bottom. They've just rebuilt. Yep. It's really going back and forth so far. Also, you definitely need to be careful with aircraft against screen because they have that. Why are you not going for the weaker one? There we go. Because their projectiles are like instant compared to like rockets or something like that. See, negators quite strong. Man, I can't wait to play Yuri. What the fuck? Another context fact is the, the way we are playing, we are way ahead. But I never realized that uh, Neil lost his Konya. Mm. Oh, yeah. And that was the deciding factor. Yep. Yeah, and then afterwards, all those drops killing uh, Neil's weapon factory. Yeah. So he's only relying on the aircraft right now and infantry. And his eco is pretty shit as well because he lost all of his refineries in the main base. Oh, is that. Where's Singel's MCV? Commando in the bottom right. Oh! 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 oh got destroyed though. Didn't kill that much, I think. Man, I, I was thinking it was looking pretty terrible for who cares in Frisk, but... It was... Neil's just way too careless with these Orcas. Yep, another one goes down. Here comes the big green wave. That's Neil's Neil's last Titan. Should be able to be stopped by these uh, MRLSs from Singel who plays it nicely. But he already lost two of them. Chris attacking from the right side as well. Commando is doing god work. Actually, the Commando is doing god work. Holy shit! Yikes! Oh my god! They fought it off on the right side and who cares is going to be cleaned up on the left side as well. Did kill most of the expansion over here. But not enough to make up for it. Damn. It literally is going back and how the hell this commando is veteran C2 right now as well. Yep, he's ready to rock and roll for sure. No, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, okay. But he's literally on fire and he didn't care. <laughs> Such a badass. Oh my god. Don't see for the hospital. There's children in there, man. Come on. What a savage. Screen children. Yeah, okay, that makes that that makes it all right. It makes it a okay. Okay, that's the last item being annihilated, literally. Oh my god, everything's getting annihilated. Oh. 
Yeah, Commando is actually taunting them. They're like, keep him coming. I can take it. Can he take him? No, he has to, he has to throw him away for his life. And he died. Jesus Christ, some chaos going on here. Who cares? Or Singel on tier 3 as well. Jesus Christ. Hey, Ink, how you doing, man? Welcome. Hope you had some pretty... Some, uh, some nice sleep. We've been casting some pretty sick games so far. Nice showcases of most of the factions, including... A very nice Yuri showcase, I have to say. It was nice to see Yuri in action. But what the fuck is that sound? What am I hearing? Oh. That's just a, I'm not sure what that did, but... Nothing. It did something. Oh, okay, okay. okay. It's just for you show. You meant to use it on your own units? Oh, it's like a buffer your own units and Fris yeah. used it on, on a building? Yep. Was this the first time he was playing screen or something? Well, to be fair, it used to be something that you put on power plants, enemy power plants, but we changed it. Oh, yeah, that annoying thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Warthog. First Warthog of the game. There's no disintegrators there. And it didn't drop the... Bu oh. Oh. Wow, that could have been a lot better. Yep. No weapons factory for Nihilus, which means no harvesters, which means no eco. He has a Derek though. No way for capturing husks, I think, in for GDI. I'm not sure if the engineers um, can do that in this game. No. Yeah, then he's fucked. Wait, there's a Nighthawk. Ooh. Don't think I've ever seen a Nighthawk. Oh, the Warthog's going in onto the infantry. Oh my god. Your infantry is non existent. Wait, was that a supply truck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sinjo was trying to give him money. It's another supply truck. It's like giving away cash. Oh boy, it took the. <laughs> oh my god, is Singel going to carry it? He's dropped it straight into the barracks from Nila so he can produce a little bit. And here comes Frizz, but they didn't combine their armies. Frizz actually arrived too late. Hookers might be able to stop this. I mean, Singel can. Infantry is dead, it's only the Annihilators. Warthog is going in, and he still has Orcas. Wait, you're not gonna tell me. No, there's no freaking way. There's no way. There's no way. There is no way. It's been a nice ride for Nilus and Sinjil. But it's time to rock and roll. I mean, the commando has been doing God's work, to be honest, in this match. Okay, some target practice was happening over there. But in the meantime, who cares has taken so much of the bottom map here. Zico is probably through the roof. Yep. His income is one of the highest. Jesus. Force shield being used onto the MCV. Oh, oh but why did he end up He lost the force shield. Probably got scared. Singel onto the offensive though. No EMP, no EMP grenades. Oh, it, it is. It's EMP grenadiers. They're so nasty. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, laugh it off, but there's six, seven fucking light scout tanks killing your ass. Yeah, this is, this is, this has to be it. Oh, there's the uh, mastermind. Wait, does the same as Yuri? Mostly. He doesn't have the shockwave, but he can capture buildings. What's that? The planes? Oh, yeah? Strafing run. Twice? That's a support power? Yeah. Three times? Three times. Damn. Oh my god, the war talks are doing so much damage. Now the orcas come in to deal with the annihilator tripods. It's been working so far, but they don't they won't be able to deal in time with who cares forces. Well there's a commando yet again. If they can manage to kill all the scout tanks. <laughs> come on man, what the fuck? From Sigil, and the only thing that Nilas can do is support with his uh, orcas at the uh, correct times when all the infantry is dead. But here comes Freeze with wave number two on the right side, and there's a support power coming in. Also, strafing run? Interceptors. What the fuck? Uh, oh, they only do air to air, yeah, yeah. No, 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 don't use the orcas, he has gunwalkers! Hey, what's that? That looked weird, different. Maybe because it has what, an upgrade, what? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's... It shows it's an orca, but it had like a very long... Oh, carry bench. on. Maybe, I don't know. It's dead. Hey, what's that? GDI Iron Curtain? No, because they're still dying. Oh, that's the, the buff, right? Like a small armor buff or something like that? I don't know. Repair, but it's over time. Wow. Well, nice repair. Man. Who cares? Singel is carrying his team. The only thing that Nilus has is a power plant <laughs> and a fucking helipad. Oh, here goes the war talk again! <laughs> Jesus! Alright, all the orcas are dead, so they don't really have a counter anymore for the Annihilator tripod, but Friss is not really paying attention to what his teammate is doing. Every time that Who Cares is going in, Friss is retreating. Every time that Who Cares' army died, Friss is going in. But Nihilus has been defeated. Sinjal is on his own. And Sinjal is going to call the GG. But what a nice display of defense there. Solid throughout the roof. Sinjal obviously with the highest score. And that was the showcase of replays we had for today. And I think you had a special minigame lined up for right now?